Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk about a question that I receive quite frequently. And the question is, what type of skills do I have learned since working in information technology? So people are looking for what skills does he have that I should get as well or build up as well to have a successful career in information technology. And I thought about this question initially and it's like, yeah, there's a lot of technical skill, but that's not really what will be helping you in the long run because technology changes. There's always a new technology coming and there's more bleeding edge and cutting edge technology just around the corner. So we're looking at different skills from that perspective. If you are not familiar with my channel, my name is Christoph Putz. I'm your IT career guide. And here on this YouTube channel, we talk about information technologies and how to have a successful career in information technology. So one of the biggest learnings over time since I am in information technology is really develop patience. That's sometimes a difficult skill to acquire. And uh, some people simply have no patience and they just need to go, 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 go. And the solution needs to be there right away. So what I learned over time really is have patience to wait for the right opportunity or prepare for a certain situation that you know will come and then you are well ahead of everything else around you and you can use that to your advantage. So that patience to wait for the right job opportunity, to wait for the right technology to do certain things or to prepare in advance because you know there is something coming where a certain skill set, knowledge, technology, whatever will be beneficial. So that patience I developed over time and yeah, sometimes I'm impatient and it's just like, come on guys, let's go. Um, yes, I have to hit the brakes for myself and that's uh, not always easy. But in general, developing that skill has really helped me with making better decisions and then also having the opportunity to deliver better work. Another important skill or knowledge that I acquired along the way is really understanding the end user and their perspective in regards to IT solutions. So really putting yourself into the shoes of the end user, your customer, uh, is an important skill because if you just roll out a solution that you feel this is the way it needs to be done, well, you don't know if the users can actually work with it. And there are too many solutions out there that are missing this. And the uh, users are really just wondering what were they thinking when they rolled this out or why is this so difficult? So really putting yourself into your user's shoes and understanding what would they like to see is not enough. You have to go and talk to them. You have to get their opinion and then you build your own opinion. You build the right technical solution. So making that extra effort to understand your end users will go long ways and the recognition of your work will be significantly larger and yeah, your career will be more fun. By the way, public service announcement. If you are not sure where to take your IT career or you want to get into information technology and are just not sure which direction to go, I offer career coaching service for information technology specialists or people that want to become information technology specialists. There are quite a few ways how you can work in information technology. For myself, for my own career, I decided I want to work with cutting edge or bleeding edge technology whenever I can. I really get so much satisfaction out of that new technology and it's, it's like I'm excited when new technology comes around where I can just jump in and try to learn and see what it can do and then how can I use that knowledge for me. So for me that was a skill where I said, okay, I make this decision, I go after cutting edge and bleeding edge technology. Another related skill in that moment is just like, Yes, you can use these type of technologies early on, but you have to look at the risk and how it potentially can impact the business that you work for, the solution that you deliver. So there's always a risk when you are one of the first few people using a technology. I look at it also from the benefits. If I can get a competitive advantage by using this technology, then for me, it's like, okay, let's look deeper into this. What are the risks involved? And can we eliminate the risks or can we accept them and then act accordingly, build the right plan around it? So for me, for my career, it has helped to really have this mindset because I go early after new technologies. I try to understand it as quickly as possible and then build solutions where I put the risk factor in as well. But often it's like, yeah, let's go ahead and use this new technology. Sometimes you have to say, no, this is too risky. We cannot do this. 
But if you really build the right case, you understand the risk, it's often possible to use a technology way, way earlier. And then for you as the IT professional, well, you understand that technology and that increases the demand for your skill set in the open market. So it could also be really a great factor that helps you with growing in your career, making more money or working for a much more interesting company if you're not happy where you are. So there are different options. Many IT professionals think, okay, if I work in IT, I don't have to deal with people. I can just sit there and do my work. It should be all introverts over there, right? Yeah, not so much. So working in IT, yes, there are quite a few introverts and there are roles where you do not have to deal with that many people. But having a good understanding of how you deal with people, interpersonal skills, being able to build relationships, being able to build partnerships with departments. That's a critical skill. It will help you with your career. If you only just uh, go after certain things and you don't pay attention to the people that are involved, well, your career will be more difficult and you might have to decide to go to another place because you are just like butting heads with other people and uh, that's not helping your case, that's not helping your career. So being able to talk to people, being able to develop those interpersonal skills, the relationships with people and the partnerships with departments, very, very important. Don't underestimate that. The last skill that I really learned over time is that the work that I do can change people's life. Just think about it. Let this sentence sink in. The work that you do, the work that I do can change people's life. And that can be you are working in a certain industry where you can make a difference or where you enable somebody else to do something that they were not able to do before. So delivering a solution that potentially opens up opportunity for somebody else that uses your technical solution that you designed, that could be life-changing. You never know. And uh, for me, uh, getting to that point, it's like, oh, wow, that is really cool. You can really do something good. It gets me more motivated. It helps me to put the appropriate effort in to deliver the best type of work that I can. And uh, getting to that understanding, it took me a while. So I was more focused on technology and other things. But as you get older and as you build up that experience, and then if you spend the appropriate amount of time to understand other people, and again, how to deliver something that enables them to do something, or where you, I work in the pharmaceutical industry. Well, if we are able to deliver new drugs to people that have a life-threatening condition, you can change people's lives. So for me, this was very rewarding and it's now an important piece when I pick a new job or when I want to work for a different company or take on a project. So can I change people's life is for me a big factor. So I hope thinking about these type of skills gives you an idea. It's not just all about the technology. Yes, technology is important, but there's so much more. Let me know in the comments really, what did you think about it? Are there any skills that you already have or something where you feel like, no, I want to go after those skills. They will really supplement and complement what I already have. Let me know in the comments. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so as well. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.